Okay, today we're going to set our fuel pressure. No big deal here. Just go ahead and hook your gauge up to where the Schrader valve is on the fuel rail. Uh, per the manufacturer's specifications, it's really pre pretty straightforward. You just screw it on there. Uh, of course, it's a little bit more difficult if you've got the uh, two-piece fuel rail, but you can still get to it there. It just might be bent a little bit more uh, close to the valve cover with the hose. With the fuel pressure gauge installed, the next step is going to be to take a long jumper wire, preferably a fairly heavy gauge. I usually use a 10 gauge wire and you'll touch that to the positive battery terminal and also the positive terminal on the coil. This 86 Daytona that I've got has had the later model style coil installed. So you just have to figure out which wires, which there and, uh, you know, set power to the, uh, positive terminal on that uh, connector and then you'll accomplish the same thing. Kind of hard to see here because my arm was in the way, but nonetheless, uh, once you do that, it'll fire the fuel pressure gauge right up and you will get fuel pressure. Remember that you're looking for a static reading, so it should be something uh, that is 55 PSI with no boost or vacuum applied. So with the engine off like this, it's really simple to set that. It's going to be static regardless. The only thing you have to look out for is if your battery voltage is really low or if for some reason you charge a really high voltage, you could have a little bit of a discrepancy with the car running because the battery voltage might not give the pump enough voltage uh, to be what it's going to be like when it's running the car. But nonetheless, uh, if you flip it on and uh, check it that way with the vacuum uh, removed, you should be all set. I like doing this in the summer because it keeps you nice and cool and you don't have to worry about burning yourself or getting too hot, what have you. So nonetheless, that's how you set the fuel pressure the quick and easy way. Of course, you can always make any adjustments with your fuel pressure regulator and you're all set.